The Mi 4i was one of the first devices from Xiaomi that ran on Mi UI based on Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's been a year since the Xiaomi Mi 4i was launched, and while it did get the Mi UI 7 update, it is still based on Android 5.0 Lollipop. But the developer support for this phone has been quite decent, and as a result, we do have a few marshmallow ROMs to try. In today's video, I will be installing the Cyanogen Mod 13 Marshmallow ROM on the Mi 4i, so without any further ado, let's get started. Before starting with this process, you need to make sure that your Mi 4i is running on the global beta Mi UI ROM. I will be posting the links for that in the video's description, so in case you are not running the specified version of Mi UI, then you can install it first. Once you are on the global Mi UI ROM, you need to install TWRP on your Mi 4i, which is again a very easy process. To install TeamWin Recovery, download the Mi 4i toolkit from the link given in the video's description. Once you have downloaded the toolkit, power off your device, press the volume down and the power button together to enter into the fast boot mode. Connect your phone to your PC and navigate to the toolkit folder. Here, press Shift right click and select open command window here now type fastboot flash recovery twrp.img this will install the recovery onto your phone reboot your device and now copy the rom file as well as the google apps package that are linked in the video's description switch off your device hold the power and the volume up button this time and you will enter into the team win recovery the first thing that you need to do here is to go to wipe and clear the data, cache, system and Dalvik cache. Make sure that you don't wipe the internal storage because it has our ROM files. Once that is done, come back to the main menu, click on install and select the ROM package, followed by the Google Apps package. The install is going to take a while, so you need to be patient. Once the install is done, wipe the cache and now reboot your device. Since this is the first boot, it will take its time, so don't worry if you are stuck on the boot screen for quite a while. Once you are all booted up, set up your device and you are good to go. This ROM is based on Cyanogen Mod 13, running on top of Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So you do get the pure vanilla Android experience, unlike the MIUI along with a lot of extra Cyanogen mod features. Jumping into settings, we can see that we have all the CM features like customized buttons, double tap to wake and sleep, status bar tweaks and also the amazing Cyanogen mod theme engine. The ROM is very smooth and fluid to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Multitasking is not an issue and while there are a few dropped frames sometimes, the overall experience has been very snappy. Performance wise, not much has changed. While heavy games like Nova 3 do lag on the phone, games like Leo's Fortune run like a breeze without any kind of stuttering. Currently the ROM has issues running Snapchat and Facebook because they just crash when you open them. The official Facebook app is a battery hog anyways, so I did use the Metal app which is a very good alternative for Facebook. Snapchat with a particular version also works fine on the device so I will link its APK down in the description box. Battery life was also quite decent on the phone. The dose feature of Marshmallow has done its work here. The stock camera app is not that great, so I would suggest you to use something like the Snapdragon camera, which is quite a cool camera app. Overall the ROM is very stable and apart from the Facebook and the Snapchat issue, I could not find anything wrong with it. While I do like MIUI in general, I feel that this ROM is currently doing a better job on the Mi 4i. You are getting the latest version of Android with some extra Cyanogen mod features. So if you have a Mi 4i lying around, I would definitely suggest you to try out this ROM. All the required links are down below in the video's description. If you have any queries while installing the ROM, then do drop it in the comments. Please like the video if you liked it. And for more such content, do remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.